Cost of living going up, bad. Cost of cameras seemingly going up, sad. Do you really need to spend £4,000 on an A7R5 or £2,400 on the A7 IV? We don't think so. We think that £1,000 you can get a decent hybrid camera setup. I'm going to show you how. But first of all, this video is sponsored by MPB. MPB. Uh, it's a great platform, the biggest platform in fact, for buying and selling and trading used gear. And that is where we got our setup, which we're going to show you in a minute. I sold a few of my stuff to MPB. It's so easy. You just go to the web and put in what you're going to sell. It gives you the price. If you're happy with it, set up a collection. Yeah, I've not, I've not tried that yet, but uh, you, it you've, you've said it's easy. Yeah. I have bought quite a number of gear uh, from MPB. And it, so it's just, it just makes sense that we bought our setup from MPB because they've got some great prices. It's got six months warranty, all of them. Yep. So I have got... Oh ding, oh, oh no! <laughs> I've got this Nikon Z6. Ka-ching! This is how much it costs. How much was that? I mean from MPB. Actually at first I go for Sony A7 Mark III, but despite it almost five years old, the cheaper ones cost over a thousand pounds. I don't really want to, but I tried Canon's EOS R. The cheapest one left me just 11 pounds for a lens. And then I realized Lecon Z6 is such a great deal. Okay, some of the light new condition cost over a thousand pounds. And by the way, these are the actual photo of the actual camera you are buying. If I get the cheapest Z6 available, well used condition, look at the photo, it's not actually that bad. It's actually not bad quality. I mean, the, I mean the, 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 the condition, the quality. <laughs> it's just a little bit, a little bit scratched here. Doesn't what condition matter. was this? It's this. <laughs> I can't remember now. Well, actually, there's a bit of uh, wear and tear here, when the, where the fingers are. Green, the screen is perfect. Yeah, it's not scratched. £1,000. Yeah. Less Nothing than else. that. Less than oh, okay. that. Yeah. What did you get? I have also chosen Nikon. Oh, what? A Nikon again? Look at that. We are not sponsored by Nikon. No, we're not sponsored by. We are sponsored what? by MPB, uh, a great platform for. I oh, know. I think we've done that a bit. Yeah, um, great okay. platform for all cameras, not just Nikon. <laughs> what? Yeah. We we both got Nikon. Yeah. No. Is it? It's, is it just so many people selling their Nikon? <laughs> uh, because <laughs> Nikon are particularly cheap because nobody likes buying them these days, so they're not, they don't have the same kind of resale value as Canon or Sony. Wow. Which is why I got a great value. This is the D810. This is used. So really this, used it. Unlike Locke, I forgot to screen record all my purchases, but I got this heavily used Nikon D810 for just £404. I could have gone for an excellent condition one, but I wanted to get some lenses to go with it too. MPB have five condition ratings explained on their website, giving you an idea of what you're getting and detail any shutter counts too. It's quite shiny, the plastic's shiny here yeah. and there. It's missing a few covers. This was a bargain. It's, it is quite cool, yeah. kind of. I mean, when you, when you buy this, you can already pretend that oh, I have been doing photography for years, for decades, <laughs> even you are like 20 years old. So I've gone for resolution. You've gone for the standard 24 megapixels, which is kind of standard these days, but this has got... Um, this it probably says it's it got, a, got a mirror, that's the problem. No, that's not a problem. No mirror. People will come to realise very soon that mirrors are good because oh, that, that, it lets that you what, see stuff. That what Pentax said. 36 megapixels. Of course, I knew more that. Than, more, than, more than that. Yeah. So it's it's still relevant. Forget the fact that it's a, a little bit chunky. Who did who did so many uh, megapixels? Exactly. Don't need that. What <laughs> is exactly? So you so get this. <laughs> well, 36 is. 36 is the standard these days. You've gone for the standard 24 megapixels, which is kind of standard these days. It's all about mirrorless these days, but I went for a DSLR, a good one at that, because it's a good tool for stills. The D810 still has a good high-res sensor in it, and the price allows me to put some money down on the most important parts of a camera system. Because you've got a 24 to 50, you've got the, the rubbish kit lens, haven't you? It's not a <laughs> I mean, these days, it's even not, kit lens are good. It's not even the 24 to 70 f4. Good enough. Mm, good enough. Well, good I enough. Got, look at this. <laughs> what are you laughing oh, that for? Can't even zoom. No, but look. Hold on. 
It's got a all, system camera. So it got all of them under a thousand yeah. pounds. And then, you know, there's plenty of money to spare. So I got 51.4D. So all, all cheap lenses? No, what do you mean they're cheap lenses? This is quality, these are quality lenses. But for, for, for low light stuff and bokeh, F1.4. Quality stuff from uh, 30 years ago. Quality kit lens from now, practically. No, no it's, from, it's from like five years ago. Maybe, no, six years ago. New, new technology? No. They're all three of them in one. Classic. So 28mm f2.8D. Mm -hmm. um, damn, I forgot. I, bought, I kept thinking I bought the 24. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not a competition. I mean, it's just two choices to recommend to you guys. So we have done enough for all of this, that all oh, challenges and uh, oh, what mine is better? No, it's too childish. We have, we've grown up, so yeah. just two choices. Yeah, better. <laughs> In our fighting, we're here to give good consumer advice. Nikon's no love, which means cheap, which means more for your money. Just tape over the brand name if it bothers you that much. The smell's old. Talking about physical buttons better than touchscreen. <laughs> I forgot to charge the battery. Oh, really? Uh, it's quite low. No, <laughs> just try to add a bit of drama. I charged the battery before and then I, I, I test it, I tried this and that. I think the battery is quite old, so it gone out quite quick. You've got USB charging in I do. Okay. <laughs> That's a good thing about getting a modern camera. Doesn't matter, I've I charged. Can... Yes, yeah, I meant to, I meant to. I can now charge with, uh, I can now connect it to uh, uh, a USB, I mean the, the uh, power bank. So this viewfinder, optical viewfinder, you just can't beat optical viewfinders. Why not? 100% you can, because it's exactly what you, what you see in real life. Look, same, but same this thing. Is, this is exactly what you see no. in the result. You're looking, well, no, that's, that's taking away the, the beauty. The art. Yes, exactly. Power, I've got power. Yeah, power, charged. <laughs> I'm not sure does it charge when I'm using it though. <laughs> <laughs> look, you, you have to switch it off. It doesn't look like it. It's alright, it's, it's a really quick uh, power on off button. Yeah, 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 I got the same thing. Yeah. Because it's well, the same brand. Yeah, that's a good thing. I, li I, like, the, um, I like this the on off button, it's just next to the shutter. Mine takes SD card or CF card. Confusing. Uh, actually, talking about CF, what card are you using? Uh, CF, CF, CF Express, it originally used XQD, but fortunately you can upgrade it to uh, CF Express. So do you budget for I mean, that? upgrade the, the firmware. £1,000, does that include CF Express? Uh, no. How much does CF well, Express I, cost? This one? Mm. Uh, can't remember. Put it on the screen. I guess Locke did that to add some drama. I, I bought it already, so... Doesn't matter. Oh, I've, I've got uh, I've got Hasselblad already. That's not including one thousand pound budget. But you can already have stuff. Well, I, I do. I have to include my clothing in into the budget. I'm wondering. I've got clothes. I, I need to buy a camera. I, I I've just happened to have the memory cards that was specifically. And, and I, happen, I happen to have a power bank as well. I so. just happen to be a, a YouTuber who, who's got all the gear already. Yeah, that's exactly how oh. it works. At the end, Kai agreed that I've made a strong argument, so we've moved on. I'm using the 28 just to get as much But I've got a zoom detail. lens, I can go back and zoom in. Yeah, 28, I've got two, f2.8. See, I can, I can shoot wide angle, but with a fastish aperture. I don't have to use a high ISO like you're probably using. Oh, look at that, 8,000, 6,400. So, it's my first camera. No, it'll be grainy. This is my first camera. I can upgrade it to something else. No, let's I mean, not can, think about I can, upgrading. I can buy some other lenses later. Yeah, I can buy Hasselblad later. All the best things have a little danger sign on them. <laughs> it's like a submarine. Wow. So 
this is a chamber that could be pressurized and you can control the temperature from sub-zero, like minus, can't remember, minus 60 mm. Celsius yeah. to, I can't remember now. <laughs> but we remember minus 60 because yeah. the, the, the guy said then they can simulate uh, Antarctica yeah. and also high altitude. 30, one over 30. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've got, I've got uh, image stabilization. Oh. Doesn't matter. I can go even lower. Let's not be childish. I'm not, I'm not, comp I'm not trying to compete. You, you I'm not. Your question. I'm just stating, I'm just observing. Let me try one, one second. second. Ambitious, very ambitious. Oof. Oof indeed. Locks high ISO shots don't look too grainy. Newer tech, better suppression of noise. The D810 is unsurprisingly noisier, but not by much more surprisingly, especially for a higher resolution 2014 camera. So that is the door. This whole oh. black thing slide onto here, close it. Seriously? Because they, because they have to slide the whole door that way to fit up. Anything you want to test in there? That's that's awesome. This is huge. It's massive. Not wide enough. <laughs> no, I wanted something a bit wider than that. Even I have to go back all the way here to get the whole thing. Can't even get the whole thing actually. Oh look. That's a that's a that's a head of the the droid killer in Star Wars. I'm not I'm not a Star Wars geek. I don't know what he's talking I'm, about. I'm not much of a Star Wars Star Wars geek. Like I can't I can't remember the the name of that. I, I was just laughing awkwardly because 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 uh, I, I thought uh, I've got nothing to say here. Puffer fish, lion fish. Well, I'm shooting a lion mirror at this camera. I'm not, at first I thought, oh, what's, what's, what's happening in my view? So, so, so you still mirrorless? No, I was just, I forgot. I woke up, I woke up too early. Using the live view. Just because I can. It's high tech. Uh, it's a bit slow, but uh, mm. yeah, it's, yeah, back in, back in the days is understandable. Back in the days. Yeah, back in the days. This is a good camera for 2023. <laughs> That's massive. When I first walked in, I thought this is uh, the, the engine or whatever. Yeah. That's, that's just the door. <laughs> well, I've got pipes on it, so. It looks like the back of some spaceship or something. <laughs> yeah. Boosters, rocket boosters. Yeah, you can just use this for to film uh, 2001 yeah. Space Odyssey or something. <laughs> Spend quite a bit of time there and it's just the first bit. <laughs> yeah. But this is such a fantastic tool for taking photos. I think we're, we're going around back in the, the days. Back, the back, what do you mean back in the days? What? Nowadays, phase detection autofocus. Yeah, we all got it here. And 3D tracking. Oh, same thing. No, wow. tracking is much easier on this. You okay, just, yeah. You just point and then boom, tracking. The Z6 does track, you just have to press OK before it tracks anything, which is such a welcome step when you want to track a fast moving subject. If you don't press OK, no tracking, not OK. Ooh, look at that. But hang on, how many focus points you have? 51, which 51. is the well known okay, yeah. within the amount of number of that's the number of AF points anybody would have ever need. Well, although this got like 200 something, give or take, doesn't really... Don't need that many. Yeah, 200 Don't something. Need, I've, never, I've never thought I need 200. Yeah, that's why I don't even remember 200 something, because it's just more it than matter. enough. Because it doesn't matter. No, 51. it's more, more than enough. I that's, can remember. That's good. It's like money. It would be great that you have more than you need. I know moving to UK, one day I would be so close to Concord and now Here we are. That is amazing. Locke is very excited, just in case you didn't realise that. Never imagined I got to get on a Concord. 
Oh my god. <laughs> like this is just enough to stand up straight. Yeah. The window is just <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Good focusing speed in low light. <laughs> same, same, look at this. Oh, I got a lamp as well. Don't know if I mentioned it. Okay, this lens is a little bit no, slower. Actually, actually this, um, when in low light, it's focused a little bit slow. Is it? That probably the, yeah, the lens. The lens. Supersonic toilet. Yeah, supersonic wee wee. I wonder if your fart would make a sonic boom. A picture, and then I just need to see it with my own eye. Not really once in a lifetime because you can come here again. <laughs> <laughs> but still. And we've landed. Supersonic flights really are quick. It's a magnificent looking thing, isn't it? About all this, oh, this is, uh, you know, good nowadays. It is, it is. I mean, what do you need to take photos? You just need a camera with decent autofocus. It doesn't need to be speedy quick, but this is. It is good then, and it is good now. Good enough. I think if you if you don't mind the whole, oh, you know, it's not mirrorless camera. It's not it's not supposedly lightweight and compact. That's a good job. Mm, good enough. Plus, very good for vlogging, surprisingly. Actually, talking about vlogging, this take 4K. Actually, it can even output raw. If you pay to upgrade, I'll put raw to uh, through HDMI to Atomus. Let's do some flocking with this. Very good stabilization. Yeah, I got IS. I, I don't know what I've got. Body stabilization. I've got some whatever they call it, active stabilization. What? What? Talking about oh, how much? How much is, is this? Is it in, in your It's budget? in budget. Yes. Is it? I could, I could get this. And some memory cards with the budget, of course. And it's the same thing. It's, it's just a hot shoe accessory. So it's not even that I'm buying a second camera if we're going to introduce rules about how many cameras you can buy. Look, hot shoe accessory. <laughs> I can use it for vlogging. So I can put that on a, a Leica and then, oh, it should, it, uh, I, I vlog with a Leica. Yeah, why not? Rock steady, that's what it's called. Oh, SD card system not support, supported. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How can that not be? Well, actually, I've got an uh, accessory as well. It is within the budget. This is from MPB as well. This is a really old... Notice there's no CF Express card in his basket. Well, the mic is not old, but this is really well used. Uh, um, Roll Video Mic Pro Plus. Oh, was that within budget? It is. Okay. Um, you, can, you, you will see why. <laughs> <laughs> I love the elastic band. Did it come with that? No. Oh, <laughs> it missing uh, the it missing the hot shoe. I mean the cold shoe. What are you gonna do then? That's why the elastic band. Not just cameras. There are loads of video equipments on MPB, and I really just have to fit into the one thousand pound budget. There are some excellent condition video my Pro Plus. Cause I really want the safety channel, but then I can get excellent condition, just ninety six pounds. Actually, it doesn't really matter with the, the horseshoe thing, you could, you could easily fix, but for now... <laughs> you, have to, you have to hold the mic separately in your hand. Well, when people watch your okay. video, nobody cares what your setup looks like. Testing, testing. How's the sound on your wibbly wobbly mic? Sounds good. Yeah, I, I, I reckon it's not going to sound good once you start walking. <laughs> You know, that's got phase detection autofocus. It's supposedly fancy, fancy face detection and human detection. Looks better. I reckon mine's probably gonna look better because they've got some kind of clever algorithms and compute, computation. They've got 
stuff like that. Bigger sensor. Bigger sensor. Doesn't matter. <laughs> what? What people, doesn't matter? <laughs> it, people always say it's content is king. Yeah. Well, when people can't even hear what you're saying. See, face detection working so well. My face in focus? I would say so. There's low focus. Exactly. <laughs> it's always in focus. You don't have to worry about it pulsing, uh, you know, not focusing. Oh, it sounds like a good thing. Yeah, look at that. Make it sound like a good thing. It works. It just works. That's what their tagline should be. Actually, when I'm talking about um, this uh, flocking, good for flocking, one thing I'm missing is a flip screen. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, Look at that, I've got two screens. Your your so, your DJI action you, camera got two screens. Not your... It's a horseshoe accessory. Not your D810. It's built for this. But... But... Yeah. I've got something <laughs> else. What do you mean? i got something else. You've got bag. Small rig bag. You and wait! Then... <laughs> it's a mirror. No, but how much does this cost? Could you afford that? I think so, I can't wait. Who do you think so? It's cheap! Okay. It's really cheap. It's like eight pounds or something. Okay. Right. Lox Ulunzi accessory costs eight pounds, which wouldn't even be in budget, even without a CF Express card. It sounds silly with a mirror to look at the screen at the back, but it works. Yeah, it does sound silly. It looks silly as well. I could do something to eat, you know? Yeah, done. <laughs> <laughs> what? And ding! Oh. It actually works. The yeah. thing is. Yeah, I can't complain about, about that. It does a, it serves a purpose. See? Totally fine. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm actually amazed how good it works. Like I've said, when people watch your video, nobody cares what your setup looks like. I'm a I'm a YouTuber! I'm a vlogger! Hey! Check this out. Yeah, let's check out the footage, <laughs> shall we? Let's check out the footage. The footage will probably look good. It's just that the sound is going to sound terrible. No. Haters gonna hate. I shouldn't be talking about sound sounding awful when I've got this because uh, <laughs> it's all internal mic. I'm going to uh, talk straight into the mic like this. Such a light camera for uh, full frame. Yes, it's same. Such, such a light full same, frame same. camera. Same, same. I've got two cameras in one almost. The you do. The definition of a hybrid camera. Two I'm amazed cameras. how shaky Lock Z6 footage looks. I thought the Z6 stabilization was much better than this. And the stabilization's really good. Look, I can run. Right. Oh, look at this. We've gone, we've gone from tiny windowed Concord to this one. The windows on this are massive. One thing we're using the Action 2 hot shoe accessory is that it's not so good with low light like indoor stuff, despite the huge windows on this plane. Huge windows? They are, aren't they? Because they don't fly too high. Apparently the largest on any... largest on any commercial airline. Really? Yeah. We almost forgot one test is the auto-focusing, continuous auto-focusing and burst. Exactly. Every camera, every new hybrid camera has to pass the community test of is it fast enough for focusing? Is it going to do this oh, 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 focusing test? This one do maximum 12 FPS mechanical shutter continuous burst. Mine does um, less than that. Mine <laughs> I've researched well. 5 FPS. Or if you're in 5x4 mode, you get 6 FPS. Or if you're in, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, even less than that. <laughs> it's 7 FPS, but let's just say it's 5 FPS because nobody's going to do that. So we have got this test track right behind us. The Mercedes V8s burbling away, rumbling around this track. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be photo photographing them, are we? Oh, but we've got us. We've got us. Internal V8. Vroom. The eye focusing is on you. It's really good. Oh, lost it too far. Okay. Yeah, ready. At the end, it got the eyes focusing as well. So I don't need eye focusing. This is I can precision precision 
instrument right here, so. The Z6 got two shots out of focus and then got distracted and focused on my D810. Okay, ready when you are. Gone 3D. Hang on, sorry, I only had on single shot. <laughs> yes, ready. Wow. Oh, wow, this is wow, wow, five FPS. <laughs> The D810, well, I blame the lens. It was the lens that failed the D810. Yeah. But anyway, this is um, this, this is a good choice. Set six, yeah. I can't, I, I, like before I check, I don't know how cheap it is now. Yeah, it's quite insane actually when you think, because you know, it's just recent years that this was first announced yeah. and it's still a good camera. It's a great camera, in fact. 4K. Still 4K. And, and I'd say if you're not vlogging, yes. still pretty good. True hybrid shooter. And what's less favoured than a Nikon DSLR? <laughs> so this is, this is exceptionally good price. And why not? If you're just going to be shooting stills, or look, if you want to shoot videos, well, I've got a perfect hybrid solution for you. Well, I, I won't say hybrid, but it's it is a good camera. Yeah, I mean, people can people convinced now that you must have. Oh, I mean, you've got to have hybrid. I've got to have it all in one. Want to have it two and two? Or to use a phone. <laughs> exactly <laughs> for video. Exactly. New is nice, but not always the best. We've both got a lot of love for Nikon, and even if a lot of people don't, the cameras we've picked are still very capable at producing great results. Whether it be a full frame mirrorless that is still a goodie even by today's standards, or the not so trendy DSLR option, which is so cheap, you can sort yourself out with a load of great optics that will get you some slick stills, and still have enough money to get a camera for video, if you fancy it. Two great startup kits for those on a budget.